Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will continue talking about BIOS extraction from EXE files from manufacturer websites. So today I will talk about DIL BIOS extraction. Okay, so here as you can see I have opened the DIL website and how do you find your exact BIOS. The best way is by using the service tag that is provided in your PC. Okay, and press search. This will bring you to the exact drivers that you need. Okay, so you go and press find drivers and go down. And here you can find the BIOS driver. Okay, so you just download it. Download it, okay? So I have already downloaded, as you can see, here it is, the latest version. So you may all know that we cannot extract BIOS from Dell by using 7-zip tool or WinRAR or anything that is similar to these programs. So if we try this 7-zip, you know, you see we'll, we have an error that we cannot open this file. We cannot extract this file, okay? So we get nothing out of it. But previously, if we have this exe file, we just need to open a cmd command prompt and just drag this file here, remove these codes, okay? And then what a space and then forward slash and write write ROM file. Okay, and press enter. But nowadays BIOS has changed uh, Dell has changed their encryption. So you cannot use this anymore. But instead we need a tool, and this is the only tool that I, I could find that worked till now okay so what you need to do is you just uh, drag your exe file to the tool to this dot bat file okay dill image extract version 2 dot bat okay the tool will automatically open okay as you can see it's asking me to press any key I press any key and it says success BIOS extracted as the name of my BIOS, but instead of exe is dot hdr file. Okay, we press again enter. Then we have this file. Okay, so we need to open the hex workshop. Okay, and we drag the hdr file to it. And also we drag our backup file. This is our backup file of our computer, which is a Dell Optiplex 9010. Okay, this file is a pin file and it is four megabytes. Okay, so we drag this file also. And now we go to window and tile vertically. So this is our backup pin file and this is the HDR file. So, okay, as you can see, at offset zero, our backup file starts with A3DA092DCB, but in the HDR file, it starts with 50, 46, 53, 2E, 48, and so it's different. So we need to work with this. So first thing, we will copy these we'll copy some values at the start of our backup file so we copy we go to search and paste okay oh we need to press here first okay so as you can see we have a3 da092 d cb3 the same as this one so everything from here 
upwards is to be deleted press shift and press here and delete okay so at offset zero now we have a3 da09 2d cb is the same as the one from the backup file okay so we'll go to our backup file again and we will go to the end of it our backup file ends with these bits or these values so we will copy some of them let's say these or these four values so we copy and press here again okay so i'll go search paste okay so we found that these values are here so our backup files ends with 0000, 0, 0, 0 f0 double f so that is in here so we need to delete everything from here downwards this information might include the ec bios but i don't need it this time what i have is the main backup file only and this is what i just need from this bios right now so i will just extract the main bios okay so from here downwards we need to delete so press shift and delete okay so delete yes so now as you can see at offset 0419 the same as the backup file we end with 0000 f0 double f the same with the backup uh, the same as the backup file double zero double zero f zero double f okay so now they are equal our hdr file and the main uh, backup file are equal so we just press here and go file and save as the same name of our bios exe file but dot bin instead okay so save now if we go to our folder that we will find that we have a new bin file which is the same size as the backup file which is 4096 kilobytes so this file is now ready to be flushed okay so this is how we extract bios from dell okay so i will include these at the video description if you want them if you want this tool to work you need to install this python 2.7.15 or anything it's just 2.7 x let's say anything 2.7 1 2.72 2.715 i will include this for you okay so you know you just install this first then this tool will work okay these two f f uh, files came with the tool but i don't know why they are not working if we if we press on them they are not working both of them okay so we just need this tool okay so thank you for watching i hope this is very helpful for you and i hope i can see you in near future Thank you so much.